G'day everyone, I'm Brett and welcome to Self Reliance Australia. So today's video is, I'm just going to go through what I do actually to prep, prep our van for a trip. Um, so we have the van for a couple of reasons, but one of them is obviously for holidays. Now we haven't been on a family holiday now for well, probably over five years, so it's been a fair while. We've done little weekends away here and there, but not very much of that. Um, so I do want to go over it, make sure it's got everything in it, because the last thing you want to do is get out on, on the road and find that something is missing. So just want to go through, give it a good clean out, um, check all the tool kits and hoses and electrical cords and that type of stuff. And I'll step through that as we go through and some of the reasons behind why we actually do have the van. Hope you enjoy, let's get into it. So this is the van and look, you will have seen in one of the earlier videos around, you know, the questions you want to ask yourself about when you're building a shed. This is one of the reasons for building this shed this size. So you will have seen the van before when it's all collapsed. So from about here up, collapses like the beds push in, then it folds down and you wind it up and it actually ends up being about this sort of size across here when you're towing, which is really good for towing. Um, but in wet weather, that does mean canvas does get wet, which is, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's a lot better than being intense. But what I did want something that if we are away and it's rain and the canvas gets wet, then we can come home, I can put it up and it can dry out here for as many weeks as it takes to dry out. So this is our van. Um, and it's all like, I guess, that nice in between between having a full caravan um, and the cost that goes with that or just sleeping in a camper trailer or a tent. So this is probably similar to a camper trailer. Actually, some of the camper trailers these days actually have far more gear than this one does. Um, so we've had this now for well over a decade. Um, it definitely doesn't owe us any money um, because we've used it so much. It would have been far more expensive if we had to spend all those nights in a motel room or even a cabin in a caravan park for that matter. So we've definitely well and truly got our money's worth out of it. So that's the van, if we can go inside. But the first thing I will be looking to do, geez, it's a bit dark in there, is to give it a good vacuum. So it's been sitting up here. I have converted that area into a bed. Um, that used to be what they call a club land, so it used to be sort of curved around. But as you can see, you've got a bed up the top. I've converted that into a bed. Um, but also, when I say converted, um, I can lift that up. And I have a space in underneath there where I can put boxes to keep all our clothes and stuff while we're on the road, so it gives us that extra storage space. Um, got sink. A little stove top, a little fridge cupboard that folds down by the way, another bed and then we've got the dining table and chairs. That also converts into a bed if we have to. Um, so you can actually fit a lot of probably more kids than adults um, in here um, but the, we've definitely had the two adults and four kids in here before um, but now it's the, the two older ones have moved on so it's just really the four of us. Um, but it was Actually, just a perfect size for that. So the first thing I'll be doing is giving a good vacuum, and then I'll start going through all the gear, the cupboards, making sure everything is in its place and it's all clean, ready to go. So vacuuming's done, I've also gone through the cupboards, so uh, really in this cupboard down here I have like a big pot and um, some cooking stuff, normally we put food in there, um, so not a lot gets kept in there when the van's empty. Down 
in these little pockets down here, I actually keep things like tea towels. Then in here, um, what, that's our folding cupboard. Now that is actually designed for clothes and stuff like that, but generally when we're not in the van, so like when it's in storage like now, uh, what we do is we put all of our blankets in there. So um, that way we've got some old, old dunas and stuff that we have that just stay in the van. So if we have to go in a hurry, we know that we've got everything that we need. And so that goes for some of these cupboards here. So in this cupboard here, we've got things like cuddlery. We've also got a um, big wheel well. So it looks like a decent sized cupboard, but in actual fact, most of the bottom part of that is taken up by a big wheel well where the wheel spins on the outside. Um, but look, we have our crockery. So plates, bowls and cups in there. And then in the bottom one there, we've got some, look, we only have really one, one pot and a fry pan. So cooking is reasonably limited. Um, and you probably saw here we have a hot water bottle so when the nights get quite cold we can heat that up and warm up the beds that way we have a drawer for cuddlery and that top drawer is a bit more of a um, cosmetic thing because there's a sink above it and so there's not really a drawer there so not a whole lot of space in here but you really do need to maximize the space that you use and maximize what the things that you do but one of the other things that you know it's worth having a look at is what do we do in our van of a night time um, and that is we have games so one of the drawers that we have here is right between down here underneath the seat is the family game so we have things like you know uno cards mini versions of cluedo we have little balls that we can kick around on the beach a um, little like a little vortex thing that we can throw around as well we've got a little game of the tiniest game of monopoly you've ever seen um we've got a book there for card games now there will probably be a pack of cards there somewhere we also have a small game of trivial pursuit so everything is like little travel versions of the games um and look to be honest that, that has worked for us oh there's the cards i knew there'd be a pack of cards there somewhere um but look, that, that actually has worked for us over the years. Um, we don't need a whole lot of stuff. Um, and you'd be surprised how convenient those small things are. Because you can fit a lot into that one little drawer. And it makes it well worth while. Because at night time you can just sit back and, and spend some quality time with the kids. And play some games together. So these are some of the things that I also store in the van. We take on our trips with us. So this big bag here is actually the NX, um, but that's it, the NX. But also the other things are like a little step ladder to get up if we need to do things. We've got some mats to go underneath the NX on the ground in case we don't get a concrete slab. And I know one of the places we're going to stay specifically said they don't have concrete slabs, so we will need to take those with us. The other ones are camp chairs. So I've got four camp chairs there. Like obviously there's only two there, but I've got another couple around the front, which I will pack in. And I'll actually start to pack that type of stuff now. So um, it's already in the van, ready to go. The other one is the old port -a That's the type of stuff that we have. And the, so the next thing I'll be doing now, will be looking at what stuff of that I'm going to pack into the van. Um, so for this particular trip, and then I'll probably pack the van up. Um, pack it up and then start working on what goes into the boot at the front so you can see there's a water hose sitting there already um, I'll go through the toolkit um, and I'll also uh, check all the electrical cables and little levelers all that type of stuff that I normally have um, make sure I've all got all the connections for the hose to the van connections for power to the van those type of things that need to be done because you don't want to be short of those when you're out on the road this is the smoke detector that was in the in the van. Um, interestingly enough, I heard I was hearing a beep. It's really faint, actually, beeping sound coming in the shed uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I couldn't work out what it was. And then one of my girls suggested it could be the battery going flat in this, and they were correct. Um, so this is now a case of just putting it back in, working out which one's which here. It's not written on there. Um, it is actually positive side. Uh, yeah, and so making sure that everything remains safe.
um, when you travel. Uh, and sometimes these are the little things that can get overlooked too. It's pretty easy to overlook some of these things sometimes um, if you haven't been up there for a while. But look, in the end, it's come together. So, working, which is good. That was loud. So, don't forget your safety. Uh, so that's another job that needed to be done. So this bucket we keep in the van all the time. It has a set of sheets and towels for us, for all four of us when we travel. Um, that way we never get caught out. So you never go, oh, gee, we've got the packed towels. Because sometimes it's the simple things that you do forget. Um, but it also means that at any point in time, we can just hook up that van and go. Now you might wonder why that may be. Well, the reason for that is that we live in a very fire prone area so we live in an area that has fire high a high fire danger um, and when a fire comes through you don't often get a lot of warning like it's normally hours um, look they can normally tell it's coming um, but you need to go and for us having the van there and having the van ready to go means that we can come up hook it onto the back of the car and drive off and we do actually have somewhere to sleep and stay because our nearest family is what three hours away I know my family's like three days driving away, so we're definitely not going to get there in any time soon. What this allows us to do is get to a safe place, set up, and be fully self-contained. Because fires don't have um, a schedule, and they don't work to your schedule either. They can come at any time of day or night, so making sure that we're all safe. And look, this is something that we've had for a very long time. We obviously bought the van well before we even moved down here um, into a fire zone, but um, as I said earlier, it doesn't owe us anything it's well and truly paid for itself and to get the money back on it as a second hand van well it's probably not too bad now since COVID, but pre pre COVID, definitely wasn't worth it um to sell it to get so to replace it would cost us far far more but now um since we've moved we've realized that it actually is a quite a good safety precaution safety measure to have for us as a um potential bug out facility and I use bug out water term, you know, fairly loose. I'm not playing on the, any zombie apocalypse. I'm just talking about fire, um, natural disasters, or we just need to get up and move in a hurry for whatever reason that may be. So that's why we tend to have, actually we do have a set of everything in the van. Um, we know it's there, it's all re always ready to go if we need to move in a hurry. So the next part to have a look at is in here. So this is the boot. Make sure I've got everything, it's all folded up. So, power cord, which is good. I will pull that out though and check it. Make sure it's all good. Sorry, it's a bit awkward doing this one handed. Uh, water hose and connectors and drain pipe, which is important. So, for this water coming out of our sink, um, most parks over here have like a solid point you can go to. These are the feet that go on the little stabilizer arm, so that's good. And you can see I've got some ramps in there to level the van out. And the other thing I'll need to check over there is the chemicals or the little portal loop. But importantly, I want to check the toolkit. Because in here is where I generally keep things like all the water connectors any tools that I normally need. So, usual sort of thing, hammer. Now you might wonder why I have a rivet gun. Well, the care around the bottom half anyway is aluminium. So if anything gets damaged on that, I can then pop rivet it back together if I really, really need to. So that's the water connector, which is good. Um, and also I have just random tap connectors because you don't know what size taps the caravan park will have. So they normally just have a general garden tap that then you need to cook these two, then which the hose, the water hose, which is a special drinking water hose. So and it has a different type of rubber into a normal garden hose. Um, yeah, hook that up too. So here we are nearly done. Been a few hours actually. Um, but also some of the other things I keep in here are a three-in-one silicon spray. It's a lubricant. 
Now I used that particularly for the zips. So we have zips on these covers. So these are little awnings that go out over the canvas, but also on the zips for the annex. Um, they can dry over time because it hasn't been used for a while. Um, so that has actually had come in very, very handy. And I make sure I keep it in the van. I don't use it for anything else. Now the other one I use is this Inox. So it's basically a, a penetrant that displaces water, stops things going rusty. Um, I like to keep a can of that on hand. And that's also some just some chemicals for the toilet. So there it is, another job done. Look, that took a few hours, just getting, make sure everything was clean, making sure everything was there, making sure everything is ready to go. And as I said before, sometimes it's not always just about preparing for a holiday, although that's extremely important. You don't want to go out on the road and find yourself missing pieces. Um, and more importantly, you don't want to go out on the road and find that because the van's been sitting still for a few years that things break. Um, so before I take it out on the big trip, I will get it serviced, make sure all the brakes are working and all of those type of things. Um, but also important, like, like I mentioned before, one of the other reasons why we have the van is in case we need to go in a hurry for whatever reason that may be, whether it's going to be a fire, natural disaster, or whatever we need to do to move on, that is already always ready to go. We can just drive up, hook it up, and away we go. Um, I know I said before that, you know, obviously um, in winter, uh, when it's really, really wet, it can be hard to get out, but I'm not expecting a big fire to come through in the middle of winter when it's really, really wet. So it sort of counterbalances that need and access, I guess. I've said the shed looks a little bit empty now without the van in it, but look, so I'm glad that's been done. I'll park it out now, um, put a cover over it for a couple of weeks to make sure everything is ready to go. Look, if you did enjoy that, give the big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, that would be fantastic. And if you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends. Anyway, that's another job done. So until next time, see you then.